Hi guys, welcome back today. I have a kick ass first impressions for you guys on the Shade Light Eye Contour Palette from Kat Von D. We are going to cover this palette inside and out, so if you are interested in seeing my first impression on this beautiful, gorgeous, magnificent palette you are pretty much already know how i feel about it sit down squat down lie down we're just gonna get started so we're gonna start with the inside out on this palette and the box pretty much looks the same as that as the uh, shade light contour palette that she come out with earlier this year except uh this one has the gold reflection uh situation and also has the word eye on here and when you flip it over to its reverse side you do get a diagram of how the shadows are laid out into the palette and also it lists the names of the shadows on the box for those of us that really enjoy the little things that the brands do with our packaging this also has like stars inside of it and you can also see it all the way through there if I can get you a there you go yeah you can see it all the way through that I think that is such a nice touch so when you open your package you of course get your beautiful shade light eye contour palette and you also get which I absolutely think is genius it's a beautiful idea and i love the thought and all the attention to detail that went into making this little like glamour guide or you know beauty pamphlet or whatever you want to call it but she does include this sheet right here as a diagram for your eyeshadow palette but she also broke the palette down into four different quads so you get a neutral tone quad a cool tone quad and a warm tone quad under each listed quad she also gives you directions on how to achieve a natural or smoky look or also how to narrow and widen your eyes, which I thought that made this pamphlet very interesting. Plus, also gives you a little extra to work with as far as your makeup is concerned. Something else that I want to make note of for you guys is that as she has broke this palette down into three different quads, she has also labeled each of the shadows as to where they're supposed to go. So, like the top shades are supposed to be base shades, and she has listed every one of those down here in the Glamour Guide, so it's easy for anyone to follow. That is something that I think is so special about this palette is that by including this beauty pamphlet with our palette, with so much attention to detail and has pretty much constructed this for anyone on any type of skill level whether you are beginner if you're extremely skilled if you're kind of moderate skilled no matter what your skill level is I feel like since they have included such a detailed like beauty pamphlet or instructional guide for your palette that this has made this such a well-rounded and versatile palette for anybody and everybody and that's something that I really love to see a brand do. Now getting on to the brass taxes of what this review is all about and can we just say we need a minute for this palette. It is gorgeous. It is well made. I love the color selection. Talking about the packaging of this beautiful palette, it is pretty much the exact same as that of her face palette that she came out with earlier this year. And with the slight difference that this one has the silver reflection as to where the eye palette has the gold reflection and of course does have the word eye on it. Opening up this gorgeous palette, you do get a mirror that is exact to that of the other contour palette and then you get this gorgeous array of matte shadows. I love it. I absolutely love it. I look at this palette and I know that a lot of people are just like, oh, it's just a bunch of mattes and, you know, I might have all those in my collection. Well, I will be the first to say that I don't have probably half of these shadows in this palette. And this palette is gorgeous. It is beautifully laid out. I love how she has grouped the shadows in this palette. But when I look at this palette, I just see such uniqueness and such thought and effort and you know art put into this palette that it is just to me it's a standout so we're going to move on and talk about the shades in this palette and i'm also going to be providing swatches up here for you guys so you'll get a group of four shadows that are in the neutral quad you also get the cool tone quad and then you'll get the warm tone quads so i will have it all up close and personal here for you guys so you guys can see the colors better than i can swatch them live so moving on to talking about the shades in this palette starting with the base shadow in the neutral palette this is just a creamy and pigmented off-white base shadow and the contour shade for the neutral palette is a very nice mid-tone brown shade very pigmented very creamy i love the way that these shadows blend and the definer shade in this quad is a very nice rich chocolate and again when i say that these colors are unique it does make it challenging for me to describe the shades to you guys and i will be honest uh, some of them i was like telling my husband uh, you gotta help me because i don't know how to describe them you know and the highlighter shade for the neutral quad is just a lighter than the base shade kind of creamy white and the base shadow for the cool tone quad is just a very light concrete kind of stone color it is absolutely gorgeous moving on to the contour shade for the cool tone uh, quad here is a darker 
concrete like I would say wet concrete when I look at this the definer shade for the cool tone quad is a matte black and the highlighter shade for the cool tone quad is just a very nice matte white so moving on to the base in the warm quad it just has such a light peachy apricot uh, feel to it the contour shade in the warm quad was one that really pulled my eye for this entire palette it is a beautiful red brick and it is absolutely phenomenal again another shadow that you know there is i have nothing like it at all and the contour shade for the warm quad is just a taupey brown and your highlight shade for your warm quad is just a very light like very very light peachy kind of very very minute peachy undertone to it one of my final thoughts on this palette guys is that it is so unique i really feel like the brand put a lot of work effort thoughts um you know whatever you can think of they just put a lot of energy into this palette i'm so glad that they included a guide as detailed and you know just covers everything and they also have a website on this and i'll leave it down below for you guys if you want to check out any extra techniques or additional information on this palette or anything else that kat von d does and in my opinion it really does show how much effort and time and you know how much they really think of their consumers uh whether no matter what their skill level is i really think think that they didn't want to alienate anybody and I really feel like that this was the added cherry on top as far as that is concerned but guys I feel like this is great for anyone from the fairest to the fair to the darkest of the dark eye color skin tone hair color whatever I think this is a must-have especially for the uniqueness of the shadows they are all creamy they are all blendable there is not one shade in this palette that I'm just like no you know um yes 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 all the way about this palette i am super excited that i got it i'm so blown away and i'm just i'm in love with it and i think this palette would make a great addition to anyone's collection because there's really not a lot of shades out here like this and the fact they're all into one palette beautifully packaged and you know sleek and nice and so much thought and effort put into this palette I feel like it's a must have and so that's my first impressions on the Kat Von D eye shade light contour palette and it does become available all over Sephora's on the 15th but there are some right now that have them so search your sephora.com to see where you can get yours I wanted to include a demo in this review but I just didn't have the space to do it where I could edit it and upload it too so we just have to deal with this I will be doing a look with this for you guys so make sure to subscribe for that thanks for watching guys always appreciate when you come visit me come back and see me I'll see you guys later bye